Hello there, old friends and new. Welcome, or if you just got here from my Renoise 3.3 tutorial, welcome back. So, that last video was a tutorial. I went over all the technical aspects of most of the basic stuff you need. This one is going to be different. It's going to be all practical. I'm trying to just make a song basically as fast as I can to show you just how fast it can get done. Uh, last one is scripted. This one I'm just going off the top of my head. I'll try to narrate everything I'm doing as well as I can. So first off, I'm doing this Amiga style, so only four tracks. Although I'm not really sticking to the technical limitations too uh, strongly. I don't know if that's the word, but first thing I'm going to want to do is load in a break. Set my lines per beat to 8. Set my BPM to I'm feeling 165 right now. I don't know. Seems like a good tempo. And then just lay down some drums real fast. Using the step skip to change how far my notes are apart as I'm writing them. So. There's one drum pattern down already. I'm going to go ahead and grab a synthesizer. I'm just going to use Synth1 and any random preset. I want some kind of pad, whatever kind of chords going on, just as a, uh, I don't know, because that sounds good. So there we go, we've got a basic little setup going on. I'm going to find a bass drum sample from my way too many samples I've got here. So any 808 will work. here is just make this pitch down a little bit so it like slides out you'll hear what I mean you only have to set um, if you have these at zero zero you only have to set the first one and then the rest will keep 
putting in the same input as that first one. Unless you remove the FX command entirely. So, should sound. But I want that to start a little later, and I want it to happen a little faster. Yeah. So we've got that. We can copy this whole section down here. Going to add just a random instrument for a lead. I guess just another synth one. Gecko sound bank. Never heard it before, but I like geckos, so it's probably good. Going to put a glide in between these two. I hope it works. I don't normally use glide. So, yeah, I'll just do that by hand instead. We've got a basic uh, melody in there, pads, bass. That's pretty much the whole song, <laughs> if you want it to be. I mean, just with some parts soloed, maybe, some edits. Let's actually go in here, though, and edit the drum break to make it a little more interesting. Just uh, basic stuff, probably going to be just rolling notes and reversing them, so... A reverse with B in the sample column. A roll with, or re-trigger, same thing, with R. Fetching it down. Pitching it up and having it come back down. Gonna reverse all of these, I think, just for fun. Retrigger this. Pitch this down.
And then I want to put a little drum fill in here, which I'm going to do by just having 16th note snare rush that slowly comes up to max volume. Now that sounds classic. Let's see. What else can I do while I'm here? I guess just take it in the mixer, because that bass is way too loud. I'll name all my channels while I'm at it. And yeah, you can hear there, there's no note off, so it just keeps playing indefinitely. Always sounds funny. <laughs> May as well write another little drum section here. Oops. Have my octave off. You can change that using a slash and asterisk on the numpad. If you don't have a numpad, you just have to go up here and change it. Or I think you can just change the keyboard shortcut yourself. But yeah, let's add a little, just, I don't know, ghost note fun. Yeah, that's fun. Have just the lead at this part. Uh, using insert to move those notes up a couple spaces. Using backspace to drag them back. Problem, just press insert. Gonna do a little flourish here, why not? Alright, so this is basically, how long is this song? 34 seconds. It's a little 34 second jam. It only took 14 minutes according to the timer. How does it all sound when we put it together? mess something up and see if you can tell what it is before it happens. <laughs> yep, I forgot the note off on this bass here. 
and on the pads. So, one more time from right here. So, I mean, yeah, that is how fast you can work in Renoise, and I'm sure there's people who can do it, like, 20 times faster than me. Um, it's a great program for just getting your ideas out as fast as you can, having a good time doing it, and being able to experiment in a bunch of fun, weird ways. Uh, don't be afraid of trackers. They're really cool. There, yeah, it's weird if you're used to like piano rolls and stuff, but going from FL Studio for nearly 10 years, maybe 11, to uh, Renoise, I never really look back. Um, so yeah, hopefully that was educational in some way. If it wasn't, sorry, but <laughs> if it wasn't, I hope the song was good to you and if you didn't like the song either then I don't know just screw me man but yeah okay bye